Thanks for coming, Doctor. It's rare that doctors make house calls nowadays. Oh, it's no problem. You know, I was listening to the radio on the way over, and uh, they mentioned a meteor shower. Can you imagine that? <sighs> okay, so what seems to be the problem? It's these headaches. I've been getting these terrible headaches. Okay. And when do these headaches normally occur? In the morning or in the evening? Well, it's hard to say, really. I guess they mostly occur after I use my psychic powers. So you're a psychic? I knew you were going to ask me that. I'm just kidding. Okay. Alright, uh... That's a little psychic humor. Anyway, it's after I foresee the future. That's when the headaches seem to occur mostly. I see. Yeah, so I guess that's probably related. It's quite possibly related, yes. Uh... Are you a psychic professionally? Yes, actually. I'm psychic for the government. The federal government? No, county. Uh... Aha. Uh -huh. So you knew about the pancakes. Pancakes! Yes! Yes, I did! And that couldn't have been avoided? Well, as you can imagine, there are some very touchy ethical issues regarding intervention. We just can't go undo every horrible event I foresee. We have to analyze the threat, and sometimes, unfortunately, it just comes down to dollars. <sighs> Doesn't it always? A lot of the time, yes. And frankly, if we intervene, then whatever I foresaw didn't really come to pass. Uh, I think you lost me. Well, okay. Let's say I see a baby trapped in a well. It's a very young baby. And I tell my supervisor about it. And they grab the kid before it can fall in, or they put up a safety fence. And that kid never really falls in the well. Now, did I just see a psychic vision? Or am I being a negative Nancy? Because that baby never really gets trapped in a well. So, you see what I mean? I do, I do. So, would you ever avoid helping to stop a tragedy just so that whatever you envisioned would be accurate? Personally, no. Legally, yes. So there are laws about when psychic powers can be used for preemptive measures? I knew you were going to ask me that. There are laws, yes, but not too many, as clairvoyance is not widely accepted. Most laws on the book got there under the radar, as certain people don't want other certain people to vote on this. I can imagine. Not to mention, in order to maintain my status as a county employee psychic, I have to report every vision I have. And at least 80% of those have to come to pass. 80%? Who came up with that figure? No idea! It's, it's just a round number. Some bureaucrat shooting from the hip. Long story short, we only act on about 1% of those. That small a number? Yeah, but it's the other 99% that really haunts me. Because you know you could intervene, but there are only limited resources. That, and I don't always agree with my supervisors. Human nature. Yeah, but I'm psychic, and they're not psychic. Well, I'm not psychic. Would you discount my opinion of medicine just because I'm not psychic? No, because you're a doctor. That's your expertise. It's not about discounting non-psychics. Okay, okay. It's about the fact that experience in reporting visions is my expertise. Like it or not, I've been doing this since I was five years old. The lightning storm? Yeah. I see. So it's a matter of your supervisors not respecting your abilities. Oh, they respect my psychic abilities. I'm a 93%, officially. I just don't think they respect my ability to say, hey, let's not worry about the runaway dog, and instead send a squad over to stop this fire that's about to start at the brewery. There was a fire at the brewery? Not yet. Oh dear. 
So maybe it's not the act of processing psychic signals that gives me the headache. But the annoyance of not being trusted to prioritize your clairvoyance. Yes, exactly. Okay. For your headaches, I'd recommend taking some aspirin with plenty of water. And uh, if you haven't been outside all day, make sure to take a walk. Okay, sounds good. And for heaven's sake, if something like the pancake incident arises again... I'm all over it. <laughs> okay. And uh, as for your relationship with your employer, I'd probably recommend just asking for a private moment and expressing yourself. Uh, communication never hurt anybody. Yeah, I guess you're right. Because even though they disagree with me on this, I really feel like this meteor shower is really going to be a problem. Meteor shower. Watch out for meteor showers, motherfucker!